the book club of destiny. All right, everyone. I kept my promise, and I finished reading *In a Burning*. Hooray! There was much rejoicing in all the land. Funny story. Turns out the book was not overdue. Just, just to clear the record, I am a good library patron. It was due that day. So a little bit about In a Burning. Obviously, it's the sequel to The Goose Girl. So it takes place in the same world and has some of the same characters. Issy is now a supporting role instead of the main character. And Inna is now our main character. And some uh, other notable characters that we see reappear are Finn and Razo. The concept of In a Burning revolves around kind of two things. One being the fact that Bayern is on the, the eve of war. There's a land to the south called Tira, and they're just jerks and want to start a war, I guess. It's on the eve of this war that Enna discovers that her brother, Lifer, has this ability to control fire, to wield it, just out of the blue. He just starts acting weird and then, before you know it, fire. So now that Issy's queen, and she's going to be on the battlefront, Inna can't just leave her best friend to face this alone. So Inna follows Issy and becomes her lady-in-waiting, her queen's maiden. In the first major battle of this war, I mean, there's some close calls. The event that impacts Inna the most is the death of her brother. So Lifer's death came about by his use of fire. She knows this. She knows that he couldn't control it. It was something that overcame him. And in the end, it's what killed him. Because Fire is kind of a temperamental element, and one that's very powerful and can get out of hand very easily. But with the death of her brother, Anna is now even more determined to help with the war and to find, find peace from what, what has happened to her brother. And so what does she do? She learns how to wield fire. Maybe she should have thought about the consequences beforehand. But here's the deal, she thought she was strong enough. But like I just said, fire is kind of temperamental. It's not an easy thing to control. Fire has this need to burn, an insatiable need to burn. It doesn't matter how strong you are. So a lot of this book deals with not only the conflict between Bayern and Tira, but this inner conflict inside Anna to, to help her people. Because she's put a lot on her own shoulders and it feels like she can really be the turning point of this war. But the fire is strong and not an easy thing to control. And her biggest fear, I think, besides losing the war to Tira and losing her best friends in the war, is being consumed by that fire, just like her brother was. This book is a little bit darker than The Goose Girl, just because of the struggle with the fire, I think. I mean, Inna really has to struggle to keep the fire at bay and temptations to burn things and burn people alive. Yeah, that's a struggle that happens. I don't know, I guess it's kind of hard to say because Goose Girl definitely had some dark elements to it, you know? But Inna Burning just, it just felt darker. 
In the end, I gave Anna Burning a little bit of a, a lesser score than Goose Girl, and it's not because it was bad writing or anything like that. It's still a pretty good story, good conflict, good resolution, good struggle. But I just didn't feel as drawn in as I did with the first one. So I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5. I still think that it's a book that you will enjoy if you liked The Goose Girl. So definitely pick it up, give it a read. It's worth it. Just keep in mind that since this is a book that takes place during a war and deals with crazy fire, that there are things like fights to the death, people getting stabbed in the back or shot or punched in the face. He deserved it. So just know that there's going to be little elements of violent things in there to be expected in this sort of story. And I actually thought that Shannon Hale did a good job at portraying the violence without making it too graphic. After reading this book, I kind of wanted a break from the Bayern stories. Uh, I wanted something a little bit different, um, but I didn't know what that different thing was. So I told my husband that I was just going to go to the library, pick a random aisle, reach out my hand, pull out a book, and that was the book I was going to read. And you know what? That's exactly what I did. The book I pulled out is called The One and Only Ivan. And ironically enough, this is a book where I've seen the cover before and I thought, oh hey, that looks like a good book. I want to read that one. Also, you will notice it's won an award. So I'm really excited to read this and I'm pretty sure it's fate that this, this was the first book I laid my hand on and pulled out. And uh, so far what I know about this book is that it's about a gorilla named Ivan. What did you guys think about In a Burning? Did you read it or are you a slacker like me? I hope you'll pick up your own copy of The One and Only Ivan and read along and let me know what you think. Also, feel free to leave comments down below and give me suggestions for other books to read. So until next time, read a book. Eat a cupcake and love life.